If you run your own business or perhaps you're self-employed, you're probably wondering what type of retirement accounts are out there for you. In this video, we are going to be talking about simplified employee pensions or SEP IRAs and tell you the benefits of them. Also, we're going to be talking about the cons and my own personal experience with using SEP IRAs. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush your debt and live payment free. Okay, SEP IRAs, otherwise known as simplified employee pensions. These are a type of retirement accounts in which you can contribute pre-tax dollars and upon retirement, you can go ahead and withdraw that money and you'll be taxed at your income tax bracket. Now, SEP IRAs are often used by small businesses and self-employed business owners to set up and there are often higher contribution limits than something like a traditional IRA or a 401k. So what are the contribution limits of a SEP IRA? In 2022, the contribution limits can be no more than a 25% of wages minus that SEP contribution. Effectively, this comes out to be 20% of a contribution towards your SEP IRA. I would consult with a tax professional or a CPA to make sure you understand exactly what you can contribute because it is based off of the income that you bring in. I actually worked with a CPA and was able to figure out exactly what that 20% cost was and then set up those automatic contributions into my SEP IRA. Now remember, in terms of how these types of retirement accounts are taxed, they are taxed very similarly to that if you were to have a traditional IRA. By the way, if you wanna know more about a traditional IRA and whether or not not, that might be a good retirement account for you. Check out that video that I've made right up here in the cards. Now, the way that the SEP IRAs are taxed is it is taxed when you withdraw that money. So the money that you contribute into these retirement accounts and invest in particular funds, that is going to grow tax-free over time. When you withdraw in retirement, you will be taxed on those withdrawals according to your income tax bracket at the time of retirement. So who's eligible? eligible for a SEP IRA. Sole proprietorships, partnerships, and corporations are all eligible to open SEP IRAs. So what are the benefits of a SEP IRA? Well, SEP IRAs can really be opened by businesses of any size. Also, contributions are made with pre-tax dollars. And when you are making these contributions with pre-tax dollars, much like you would with a traditional IRA or a 401k, it actually reduces the amount of taxes that you might owe because it's taken as a deduction off the top. When that happens, you are able to effectively reduce the amount of taxes that you pay in that particular year. Also, SEP contributions and earnings may be rolled over into another retirement account, which makes these types of accounts really easy to move and adjust as your retirement needs adjust. Plus, I think if you are a one-person show with your business and you operate as a sole proprietorship like I do, you can take advantage of contributing both as the employer and the employee. Plus, SEP IRAs, I think the biggest benefit of having one is the contribution limits are so much higher than what you would get with a 401k and certainly with a traditional IRA. Remember, traditional IRAs have a max contribution limit of $6,000. We're talking about 25% of wages or $61,000 in a year that you can contribute towards this SEP IRA, which makes those contribution limits just kind of seem endless. We are talking about you know 60k going into a SEP IRA in one year that's a lot of money and people can take advantage of that through this account another interesting benefit that I actually found in my research I did not know this but if you are an employer who offers a SEP IRA to its employees your employees will always be 100% vested with that money in other words they are able to take those employer contributions and keep them 
regardless if they change jobs. I think that's a really cool feature of the SEP IRA and one where it really promotes job security and hopefully it helps retain those employees for you. All right, so there's a couple of cons and disadvantages of the SEP IRA that you should know about before you open one. There are limits to high income earners. In 2022, if you make above $305,000, there are some limits on how much you can contribute to a SEP IRA. Now remember, part of figuring out how much you can contribute to your SEP IRA is based off of how much you bring in. So if you're bringing in a lot of money, obviously that 25% is going to be a lot higher. And so you'll wanna be sure that if you are you know, making buku bucks and you're making a lot of money with your business, you'll have some limitations that you'll run into with a SEP IRA. And as with most retirement accounts, there is going to be an early withdrawal penalty of 10% if you withdraw from this account before the age of 59 and a half. Also keep in mind that this account is subject to required minimum distributions or RMDs set by the government after the age of 72. If you still have money in this account after the age of 72 and you're not taking any withdrawals, you're going to be forced into taking these RMDs, which means you will be forced to pay taxes on that money because the government says we want our cut and it's time to pay up. So why would you want a SEP IRA? Well, you're looking for a retirement account that helps support your small business or your one person business. You'll also want this type of account because you want higher contribution limits than you would with a traditional IRA, which again has a cap of $6,000. Keep in mind that that cap also applies to the Roth IRA. So if you already have those two accounts in, in place, you have the traditional and the Roth and they are maxed out and you're wanting to look for another place to continue to sock away money for retirement, a SEP IRA is a really good solution. So where can you open a SEP IRA? Pretty much any brokerage or investing company is going to have this as an option for you. I personally use Vanguard. I use Vanguard pretty much for all of my retirement needs and I opened up a SEP IRA directly with them. I only use two types of index funds inside of my SEP IRA. I actively contribute $1,000 per month as a pre-tax contribution, which is taken as a deduction from my earnings for the month. And that way it reduces the amount of taxes that I actually owe for the month. And then I only have those two index funds, which are the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund and the Vanguard Vanguard target retirement fund of 2055. That's it. I keep it very simple with those two index funds and I set it, forget it, let it grow because I'm a lazy investor and I love the opportunity of investing in index funds which are low cost, low maintenance. If you don't know what index funds are, I will link to a video up here explaining it in the cards how they work. Okay, I'd love to know in the comments, do you have a SEP IRA? What are your thoughts on them? Leave a comment below. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you thought this video was helpful. It really helps out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.